Hi, and welcome yet again to the channel Newtown Naughty Boy. And with this video, this is the part two with the Diana Mod 6 air pistol. Now, if you saw the part one, um, we discussed the air pistol at length and I promised you that I would do a second uh, video, a part two, uh, which this is, um, and we would look at the air pistol once again with regard to testing it out for its power and its accuracy. So I intend today to put this air pistol through the chronograph with three different types of pellet and I then intend to do a bit of an accuracy test at about five to six yards in my garage just to show you what sort of grouping you might get. So a few things that I may have left out on the part one um, with regards to this air pistol. Um, there's a kind of three things I'd like to cover off uh, with you. Um, I didn't say this but I mean I, I kind of got have got small hands um, and this particular air pistol although it kind of looks giant on me it, it is actually quite a big air pistol um, in its own right in fact actually I would say this is the kind of largest in shape um, uh, of, of an air pistol that I've actually ever owned or even seen its weight isn't actually too much of an issue but certainly it's bulky and it would hit fit quite a large hand you can see how my uh, thumb is sitting in that um, thumb groove there and there's plenty of space in there for a much bigger thumb than mine so kind of bear that in mind it's not too much of an issue but this really is quite a large pistol grip the other thing that I didn't actually cover off is that the actual trigger here is actually a two-stage trigger. There is a kind of take-up, uh, a sprung-loaded take-up point here with the trigger as it reaches this adjustable bar here or spindle here and then the final movement actually lets the air pistol fire. So underneath, or at least you can see one of the uh, adjusters there for the actual stroke of the trigger, um, and also there's an adjuster up inside there with a convenient hole in the trigger guard for you to get to the screw to adjust the uh, weight of pull. The other thing that I actually wanted to say to you, and I kind of did briefly touch on this point um, because this air pistol is recoilless and I did explain in the last part um, how that operation takes place inside um, the air pistol is actually quite difficult to take apart and when I say that um, I'm I don't mean that it's actually difficult to actually uh, take the air pistol uh, apart in, in in truth but it's difficult in some cases to actually get the air pistol back together again and some of this um, issue is to do with this ratchet system that operates inside here um, and I was told that if you do dismantle this air pistol that the cogs inside here on both sides um, should be marked up before you take the air pistol apart. In fact actually marking the parts up with perhaps a white um, piece of tip, uh, a bit of tipex or something uh, to ensure that when you put the air pistol back that the actual cogs are aligned um, in exactly the same place as they were when you took the air pistol apart. So it's quite complicated and um, I am not going to venture to do anything with this air pistol as far as taking it apart. I would rather wait until perhaps something goes wrong and then maybe I've got to then try. But I think this air pistol is actually operating um, correctly. 
So uh, we're going to do some tests on the chronograph first and I kind of don't envisage this air pistol doing much more than let's say uh, 2.5 foot pounds. Um, I said in the previous video that the stroke of the piston down here is so short um, that it's unlikely that this air pistol is, is very powerful at all and I don't expect much over two maybe 2.5 foot pounds at the very most but we'll test it out with a variety of pellets and see what we get so as I said previously I'm going to check the air pistol out with three different types of pellet I've chosen these pellets uh, predominantly for their different weights um, I think this air pistol may be a little bit pellet fussy so it'll be interesting to see how these pellets perform in the air pistol so the first test will be uh, with the air arm standard Diablo field at 8.4 grains these are 452s the second test will be with the Falcon accuracy plus pellets and these are 7.33 grain so a little bit less than the um, air arms and the lightest pellet here the super h point by rws these are 6.9 grain pellets so let's put these through the chronograph and see how these perform right so before we actually uh, perform the chronograph test I was going to show you how this uh, air pistol um, loads or cocks first and then loads up I'm actually going to put a few pellets through the uh, the target first at the back of the chronograph just to warm the pistol up because um, usually these uh, spring operated air pistols and, and the rifles to that extent um, do need some warming up first to give you some uh, proper uh, results so let's start with the cocking of the gun and um, it's just a normal brake barrel and it's quite stiff so you need to bring the gun to your chest to actually um, cock the gun and as usual be very careful um, once you've cocked the gun that you've got your finger off the trigger whilst you load an air pellet an air gun pellet into the breech so pellet goes in there's a ball bearing here that um, catches into uh, a detent inside there um, so we bring the air pistol back up and it's got quite a positive click to it um, to engage the barrel back in line with the air cylinder so just so that you can see how the air pistol um, fires in my hand really um, I don't know if you can uh, you'll be able to judge here um, how the recoil is um, but if I fire a shot into the target you can probably see from that that the air pistol um, is quite still there is no recoil at all and it's quite a surprise really because you can feel the spring operation inside the air pistol but there is no recoil so that's the operation of the air pistol and now let's do some chronograph testing okay so here we are with the chronograph testing and um, first off the air arms air pellets and I'm going to try and shoot through five good shots through the chronograph so let's see how we go for the first shot we got a 393 
442. These are quite high, much higher than I thought. That was shot three, 389. It's come down a little bit. Um, we may have had some dieseling there, I guess. Fourth shot, 382. I think, yes, that second shot was probably a little bit of dieseling there. And last shot, fifth shot, 250. Hmm, not a good shot at all. So let's scrub that 250 out of the equation. That just seems to be um, a little bit too low for what we're doing here. So um, let's fire another one in. 437. Yes. So I'll just add those up and I'll give you the average. So I've just averaged those uh, five shots out. Uh, the feet per second comes out to 408 as an average and that equates to with these 8.44 grain pallets at 3.11 feet per second. That's a lot higher than I actually was envisaging. Um, as I said earlier, I thought 2.5 might be good. 3.11 out of this pistol, that's pretty good going. Let's move on to the next test. Okay, so let's test the air pistol out with the Falcon air pellets. So, these are slightly less weight, so shot number one. 388. That's kind of similar around about the ballpark that we had with the air arms. Let's see. Shot number two. 259. So. Again, we had something similar, a similar velocity. Let's see uh, shot number three. 390. Shot number four. 244 Shot number 5 241 So those are our Five shots, um, again I'll add those up, take the average and see what feet per second we get out of the Falcons. So the average for the Falcon pallets for five shots was 304 feet per second and that equates to 1.5 foot pounds. So not very good results from the Falcons. Um, I'm not sure why that is. It's a lighter pellet, maybe the gun just doesn't like those types of pellets so uh, let's move on to the super h point pellets and see how they perform so moving on to our final test with the rws super h point pellets at uh, 6.9 grain so uh, quite a light pellet here um, again we'll put through five shots and see what we get So these are light pellets, so we should get quite an increase in velocity, but the Falcons didn't do that, so let's see what happens. Wow, 443. That's quite a big velocity. 
let's put our second shot through. Four, four, six. Slightly higher. Certainly quite a high velocity. Shot three, four, three, nine. And I think we're finding the pellet here that this air pistol likes. Shot four. Four, 40. This is very, very consistent. And now, our fifth shot with the RWS Super Point. Four, nine, two. So I'll add these up again and I'll tell you what the results are. So the results for the RWS Super H point, um, the average came out for the five shots at 452 feet per second and that equates to 3.1 foot pounds and that I believe is the same as what the air arms came out at but what I found is and um, this is why you should always test uh, your air guns uh, with different pellets is that there seem to be a higher level of consistency with the Super H point and we didn't get one shot that dropped um, the air arms weren't too bad but my god the um, the consistency with the Super H point pellets was uh, quite remarkable really and I'll be using those pellets now for the accuracy test Okay, so this is the start of the accuracy test with the Diana Mod 6. Um, I'm going to shoot from uh, five yards away and um, I'm going to attempt to do this uh, rested or semi-rested to give myself uh, a chance of, of getting a decent grouping. So um, let's just see then what happens with the accuracy test. Okay, so that's five shots. Um, let's just close in and have a look. Let's put some more light on the subject and have a look at the actual target itself. That's pretty good going, I think. Um, if I put an old pound coin up, you'll see that um, the groupings kind of within half an inch and actually this is quite impressive I think what I might do now is actually go outside and set the target out to uh, a little bit further out and let's see um, if rested we can go a little bit further and still get a quite a good grouping so we're now testing outside at a distance of about 10 yards so let's see what five shots does on the target the red dot that's positioned on the right hand side
So our results from our five shots outside at about 10 yards uh, proved to be interesting. Um, I think this shot here was the first. I'm thinking second and third around here. I then had a, um, a shot here, up here and here. Um, I did ha have difficulty with uh, the open sights looking at a, back, a black background. Um, I couldn't quite see the notch at the end of the gun. So um, I, was, I was having a bit of difficulty, but I think this here kind of probably represents the spread rather than these two shots out a uh, distance. That's pretty good going. I was um, semi-rested, so um, you, you can draw some conclusions from that, but certainly the accuracy of this gun um, with uh, these um, super H-point uh, RWS pellets are pretty good. So, to sum up with this Diana Mod 6 air pistol from Germany, um, some interesting uh, results from our chrono test and our accuracy test, as I've already said. Um, and what I found quite surprising was the actual uh, velocity that this air pistol is putting out over three foot pounds which makes it quite um, a good plinker outside and a short range target pistol, certainly. Um, I've enjoyed making this video. Um, it's kind of uh, enabled me to get this air pistol out of the cupboard and um, play with it a little bit more. I think on retrospect that I might now perhaps do a few competitions with this air pistol. It's certainly putting pellets out at quite a pace and um, I may be able to use this air pistol uh, as I just said in some competitions so that's about it really from me um, as always if you have any comments um, you'd like to add then add those in at the bottom and of course please press like it does help and subscribe if you want to see further videos and um, I'll uh, be with you on the next video again very very soon so thank you again very much for watching bye for now if you've enjoyed my videos so far you may be interested in a book that i've written some time ago now a couple of years ago now um it's in a revised state it's called newtown naughty boy it's about me growing up in the 50s 60s and 70s and what i got up to it will be of interest to you guys because you've already or are interested in air rifle shooting and within this book there is quite a bit about air rifle shooting so why not give it a go it's available on amazon and it's available in uh, paperback and also in download as well and it's quite a reasonable price on download there's quite a few stories in here some of them a little bit naughty um, but as i said it will be interested to you guys that um, have um, are interested in air rifle shooting so why not give it a read i think you will enjoy it thanks anyway for watching my videos